Hey yo, it's popping on back for the video. In today's video, I'm gonna start on a late one today. It is 6.02. You know, pretty it's kinda dark outside, street lights on. But my today me and my brother came over here and got some of his stuff to take to his shop. Oh shit. Our garage door is messed up. Now, that's supposed to be inside of there. I don't know if you know that or not, but yeah, hold on one second. Okay, no, I can't move it. So, we have to move the Honda, but those two toolboxes are going over there where his toolboxes were. And, oh, my good jazz, so I'm going to prop y'all up. Start the four wheeler and and get to work. So first thing I'm gonna do is move all that stuff out the way. Now this here. Here, well, y'all can't see it right there where well, that stuff is. But uh, I'm gonna get a little bitch. Now the Honda, I do have to pull start it. That is messed up. Turn the gas off. I forgot it has a gas leak. 
Okay, off. So, now, I did get this gray cap craftsman tool box, but these top three drawers are going with Byron. So I'm just gonna clean the top off. Trash. Close enough. Here's some sockets. I really just need to get this piece of off my fish out here. This. Oh. Throw it down here. I have the keys for this for this thing somewhere, but I don't know where. Not to worry about it. Okay, I'm going to, hold on, okay, mama just brought me out a potato, so, I'm going to eat, and then I'll get back to y'all. Alright, uh, got all my potatoes, oh, pop it right, pop it right, pop it. Oh, sorry, I just totally didn't drop my phone in my camera, bro. No, ah, uh. ah, okay. I will. Alright, well, pretty easy. Oh, ah! Ah, son of a mother. They were staying broke. Can I sit it on there? Shoot. Oh, that freaking sucks. I can't even move the camera. Well, I'm gonna try to get this filmed. Just stay. Don't fall. Okay. Oh God, that's. Yeah. 
Okay, how long is this part of the video? For about four minutes. So, you get all my stuff. So, let me move the belt and, and the headlight for the lawnmower. And then I'm going to move the steering arm. Oh! So this right here is a sway bar for a 1977 Ford. Which, if you can tell, it's quite bent. But it would probably be a good pull-up bar. It's about three, four pounds. It got bent. My dad hit a, or Byron, somebody hit a tree. And now it's just, you know, a wah, wah, bar. I think that is mostly everything. Man, I'm so mad at this camera stand right now. This is the second one that has broke. Look. It just sheared right off. I'll probably just super glue this hoe together, to be honest. Just like absolutely super glue this hoe. You know, just like that, like that. But, oh. I still got more crap. But, I need to get all that over there settled. Uh, those are my only two toolboxes I've got right now. Um, I'm probably going to end up buying another one sometime. I got all that junk. That junk over there. Headlights. I don't know. All this. Um, Y'all check it. Check the... Honda out. Look at this girl. Put the key in it.
so I know when I start it, it ain't going places. So I got to buy a carburetor for that or something. It's not getting gas, but it will start. So I'll, I'll do. I'll film that here for a second and get the. Does have to be done by the starting fluid, but it'll run sort of. and everything, it just like don't get gas. And boy does it stink. Smell like some booty pop. But there's that. Shove right there. Oh, more stuff's falling off of it. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm going to, I've got that, which is a tire tool, like 50 bucks, at Harbor Freight, and I bought, hold on, let me turn this light on, I bought a bead breaker at a live auction yesterday for like 10 bucks, uh, I just gotta get two bolts, and... All this is going when Byron goes, and I'm going. We're going to pour a little three by three or four by four little concrete pad right here, and I'm going to bolt that down. And I'm getting a bigger tire tool for four wheeler tires, and you know, good jazz like that. I'm going to make a mount to put that one on top of the other one that's bolted to it. Uh, my original plan was just kind of bolt it right there. But, um, you know, that kind of left. So, but most of this over here is gone. That table's not. My weed did. Oh, Lord, look at that. There goes. My weed did. Got it running the other day. But I bought this for $15 in McKenzie the other day. All I did was stretch that spring there right there. Cleaned it out, uh, rebuilt the carburetor, which by that I mean took it apart, blew it out, and I think that's it. Where did this come from? Does this work? What the crap? Of course it worked. What? I for real, where did this go? This looks like it goes to that fan. I'm not. What? Oh my gosh. I for real did not know about these two. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I know we had that one, which is connected to those fans. I guess this one just, you know, spiffle. But like I said, all this going, I'm probably going to build a table like this one, not this big, about, about that big, 4x4 to 4x4. And be done with it. Is this my socket? I think that's my socket. Anyway, got my toolboxes over here. That's mainly the thing that I want to do. That's getting left. And where's the torpedo heater? Here's this torpedo heater. Ready heat. It takes diesel fuel. Right there, I don't know if it has any in it or not, but that is ours. Byron bought a new one. 
But most most of this is going. Um. Yep. This is where the year video is gonna end. I will see y'all guys in the next one. And peace out.